Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. 17 consecutive days now without measurable rain in Evansville, and hopefully this streak ends at 17, the longest in over five years. Back in the fall of 2017, we also went 17 days without rainfall. And if we had gotten normal rainfall over that time span, we would have picked up nearly two and a half inches of rain in the past two and a half weeks. So we need the rain, and there's a little bit on the way for tomorrow that at least will clean the air out. Ozone was not the issue today, but high particulate matter from the wildfire smoke coming all the way in from eastern Canada. Levels were actually in the unhealthy for sensitive range for a while this afternoon. There are a little lower this evening coming in at 93, but unlike ozone, which normally lo lowers during the uh, nighttime hours, uh, particulate matter can actually rise. So this could continue to be an issue until we get that cold front through the area during the day uh, tomorrow. Highs today were generally 85 to 90. We'll bring those highs down mainly into the 70s tomorrow and then barely get them into the 80s for the end of the week as refreshing air mass pushes in behind this front coming through tomorrow. We're still dry on live first one. Doppler, but a few showers will be moving into our northeastern counties by daybreak tomorrow morning. We're seeing the clouds increasing right now. Live view from the east side of Evansville, our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera off the top of Deaconess Gateway. The temperature 70 degrees. Dew point is up with a southwest wind, a little surge of warmth and humidity ahead of this front, but it's going to be dropping once again once that front moves through later tomorrow. Upper 60s to low 70s tonight will not be as cool as last night. We'll drop down generally to around 60. 60 by daybreak tomorrow morning. You can see the clouds moving in right now. Scattered showers not far behind, but unfortunately for us, the heaviest rain is going to be shooting to our east during the uh, late overnight hours and even during the day tomorrow. So let's check an updated future tracker here, take you through the next couple of days. Uh, overnight, the clouds move on in, and then by sunrise, we got a few showers kind of clipping our far northeastern counties. Look for the showers to increase between daybreak and noon tomorrow as the tail end of that line comes right along the Ohio River by noon. But you can see it's a fairly narrow line, and it's going to continue to push southward across western Kentucky and out of our southern counties by about 4 o'clock, and then we'll see some clearing coming in behind it. Highs generally mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Could be a little warmer to the north where you get into the sun a little bit earlier. And then we continue to clear out tomorrow night as it really turns cool, low to mid 50s by daybreak on Thursday. Could be a spotty shower trying to redevelop in our far southern counties early Thursday. Otherwise, we go mostly sunny for the day. Highs in the low 80s, if not only around 80 degrees. And then we're even cooler on Thursday night, low 50s by sunup on Friday morning, which would be another beautiful day with mostly sunny skies and highs in the lower 80s. But rainfall amounts with this system tomorrow will be light. Looks like a quarter of an inch or less. And the new run has really not much at all in our southern and western counties. Evansville under a tenth of an inch. The heaviest amounts would be more likely in our northeastern counties up towards Jasper, Santa Claus, and Tell City. So overnight, a few showers late, mainly to the northeast as the clouds increase, temperatures around 60. Scattered showers increasing from the north during the morning and then fading away to the south in the afternoon, followed by some clearing. At least pleasant high temperatures, generally in the mid to upper 70s. We see the cooler air come in tomorrow night. Lows of 55, 81 to 82 Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday will warm up. That'll be the nicer weekend day with a high of 87. And then a stronger cold front Sunday. More numerous showers, thunderstorms, potentially a half inch to an inch of rain, which is really what we need. And all that will be ending Sunday night, followed by yet another shot of cooler and pleasant air for the early part of next week. All right. Thank you, Wayne.